Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, so recently we got another new Mac OS version. This time it's Sonoma. So it was time to pull out the 2012 MacBook Pro and see how this machine runs with the new operating system. I do a video like this every year where we're looking at this machine, how it's running with the new operating system. Now, this has not been supported in many years, but using OpenCore Legacy Patcher, you can install those newest versions, at least until they completely phase out the Intel support out of them. But you can install those newer Mac OS versions on these older machines. Today, we're going to take a look at how Sonoma is running on this 2012 MacBook Pro. Now, I want to start this off by saying that I'm not necessarily saying that you should go out and buy a 2012 MacBook Pro to run Sonoma on it. This is more for people that have these computers and want to know if the latest version of the OS works on them. But I'm having a little bit better performance in Sonoma on this me machine than I did with Ventura. So let's jump right into this and we'll take a look at what's working and what's not working. Now, the first thing you can see, we have the moving uh, wallpapers. Now, I'm kind of laughing because these are moving and it does work just fine, but it's a little jittery. Uh, these are older machines, so it's not going to be as smooth as a newer machine. Honestly, in my opinion, this is kind of a gimmick thing, but I know some people do like it. So I wanted to show that it does work. And if we log in here... And we, when I do, we can see that the screen continues to move a little bit jittery, but then slowly comes to a stop and now you have a static background. So that's working just fine. I mean, the other thing that's a new feature that you can see is working fine is widgets on the desktop. So I have the weather widget um, and we can go and add another widget to the desktop. Just go into edit widgets. I'm just gonna drag out this battery one and you can put it on there, you can move it around wherever you want, it works just as you would expect. The interactive widgets work fine as well. Um, you probably saw this little border come up. This is another new feature that works fine, which I don't necessarily like, but you know, whatever, it works. Um, when you have a window open, if you click on the background here, it hides all your windows, and then you can just click it again to bring those up that works absolutely fine as well. A lot of the classic aspects of Mac OS are working as well. Something that I would consider a classic aspect is AirDrop. AirDrop works fine. You can detect the machine and send stuff to it from your other devices. Uh, you can find the devices from here and send stuff over. That's working great. Uh, the internal camera, I'll talk more about hardware, but internal camera for stuff like FaceTime, that's working fine, so you can do FaceTime and you can use full iCloud and all that stuff. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into getting this working with the OpenCore Legacy Patcher. If you wanna see a uh, tutorial on that, let me know down in the comment section. I'm happy to put that together. I also have a 2015 MacBook Pro that I'll be doing a video on so I can uh, show how I got it installed on there too. It's pretty much the same process. I do have a video on OpenCore Legacy Patcher, but it's a few years old now. So, you know, I think it's time to do an updated video anyway. Um, so that's the stuff that works. The other stuff, just, you know, regular usage, it's actually working pretty well. We can uh, open applications, use the gestures on the trackpad. Um, just general performance, as you would expect, is completely fine. If you're looking for a basic computer to browse the web, do some light video editing, some light photo editing, things like that, this is actually, it's still a pretty decent option if you can get it for, you know, hundred bucks or under, it's still a viable option. Now, I mentioned the hardware before, all the hardware is working great, the keyboard works great, the backlighting is working well, all the uh, options up at the top work fine, the ports all work great. I'm not sure about the FireWire port because I don't have a FireWire device, so if anybody out there has one and wants to let us know down below if it's still working in Sonoma on this machine, please let us know. Um, you can even use the external display using the Thunderbolt or the mini display port with an adapter. I just have a, a cable that has mini display port on one side, uh, HDMI on the other, and I just hook it up to a monitor. It works fine. So I'll have a link down in the description if you want to see that cable that I use, but you can get those anywhere. 
that's pretty much all the stuff that works. So now I want to talk about the things that don't work. And really, a lot of these are not a big surprise because a lot of these require an M1 processor to work anyway. So it doesn't matter that this isn't un, you know, a supported Mac anymore. It's more that it's an Intel Mac. One of the things that doesn't work is continuity camera. So this is where you can use your iPhone as a camera for your laptop. That does not work. It does show up as a device, but when you select it, uh, no video comes through. I don't know um, if that's just a, a limitation of the older processor in here or what that is, but that does not work. Other stuff that doesn't work is all the uh, new photo effects that are in Sonoma. And those are expected to not work because those require an M1 processor. This is an older Intel processor. So all those new video effects where the camera follows you around, uh, the presenter mode, all that kind of stuff is not going to work on this. So if you are looking for a computer that works with Sonoma, it works well. It, it, like I said, I think it works better than Ventura, at least on my system it does. I would definitely recommend upgrading the RAM and upgrading the storage to an SSD if you haven't done that already. I have 16 gigs of RAM in here and an SSD that I have this running on. You can just take out your current drive that's in there put an SSD in, load Sonoma on here, try it out. If you don't like it, then just take the drive out, put the old one back in, and you're right back where you were. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying one of these for Sonoma, but you certainly can if you can find one at a good price. If you wanna know some places online to look, I'll have a couple links down in the uh, description of the video. But if you have one of these already and you wanna try Sonoma, like I said, just you know keep that original drive on the side in case it doesn't work out for you then you can just swap it back and uh, no harm no foul other than some some time if you have any questions or comments on anything i talked about in this video please make sure you leave that down in the comment section if you want to see those tutorial videos let me know that as well and also like i said i'm going to be having a video coming up on this 2015 macbook pro uh, talking about how that works with sonoma i'm going to go a little more in depth on some of the stuff in that video so if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when i put that up and uh, i will see you in the next video thanks so much for stopping by